Aloha and welcome to Go, OC16's Government Official Spotlight. I was born in Queens Hospital, but raised in the community of Wahewa. It was a great childhood, you know, playing um, barefoot in the backfields, playing touch football in the streets with the Lees, the Pios, the Homo Motos, Kanashiros, and just a great childhood. I'm a proud graduate of Lelo High School, a public school. We get so much value out of our schools that we seldom hear about. But there are a lot of committed teachers, advisors, counselors, and coaches, and administrators in our public school system who do a heck of a job. And I owe everything I am to my public school teachers, coaches, administrators, principals. I spent time working on a very controversial issue regarding medical marijuana dispensaries. My concern is not with the parents or the adults having access to medical marijuana. My concern is it getting to the hands of young people. I would suggest that people, parents, coaches, teachers be mindful of the effects of the marijuana today and make sure it doesn't get into the hands of our young people because it can affect their lives. To get people out to vote, you need to inform them and empower them that they have and can make a difference. I think it's important for younger people at age 16 to pre-register uh, to vote when they became 18. So as a sophomore in high school, you can register to vote and start paying attention to the going-ons locally and nationally uh, on the political scene. Because one day you'll have a chance to vote at 18. I think we need to encourage younger people who can then encourage older people to participate, register to vote, and most importantly, go out and vote. <laughs>